Hello, welcome to another rodeo with the Tater Cowgirls and Eddie will join in later. We have two parts today and uh, happy President's Weekend by the way and of course I had to research what uh, President Washington and President Lincoln like to eat. Uh, so I found uh, Lincoln liked oysters, corn cakes, bacon uh, and apples. So apples was my choice to give him some kind of homage today with my recipe. And Lincoln said about apples, apples agree with me, a large percent of professional men abuse their stomachs by imprudence in drinking and eating and in that way health is injured and life is shortened. Well, that is not true. Now, President Washington loves cherries. Cherries and cherry pies from his uh, wife, Martha. Martha Washington's whiskey cake was also something he liked and uh, sweet mashed potatoes. So that's uh, my whole plant-based president right there. Beans, he liked string beans and uh, a pancake made from cornmeal instead of flour. It's called hoe cake. So uh, we, we, we gotta try that one day, but not today. What I make today to honor my two presidents' birthdays, Mr. President Lincoln, President Washington, I make a Bavarian uh, sunken apple cherry cake. So usually I make that only with apples. It's a German recipe and uh, I, it's, it's one of my favorite open house cakes uh, as a real estate agent, so people just loved it and they didn't even know it's vegan. The original recipe was from Sabine Baggio, one of my clients and she um, um, and friends and uh, she showed me the recipe, she made it for a farewell party when they moved away and uh, I took that recipe and veganized it and uh, you know made it whole plant-based so that I can show it to you. So thank you Sabine for the original recipe. My Oma had one but I couldn't find it in my Oma's uh, books. It's lost but Sabine's cake was just perfect on the spot. So what I did already, let me get down a little, let's see, uh, yeah you should get, I should take it down a notch to show you what I do. This. Yeah, so I did already the dough and the dough, uh, the recipe will be underneath the video so you're not going to miss anything. Just try to shorten it up because we do a second part uh, today and uh, this is an homage to the uh, Chinese Lunar New Year of the dog, Gang Hai Fa Chai, my friends. And uh, I will do a uh, longevity noodle stir fry, Asian of course. So uh, that's part two. For those of you who don't like cake, wait for part two. It's going to be a stir fry. So now uh, this is the dough for the cake. Well, I don't, didn't even use a food processor or anything. I just uh, mixed it together with my wooden spoon. It's um, a pastry flour, whole wheat pastry flour. It's um, baking powder, uh, a half a teaspoon. And I used the rum for it and that is already the first thing you have to be careful because the original recipe was with the German baking powder and uh, if, if, you, uh, if you use American baking powder in German recipes it's okay because it's double acting. If you use German baking powder in American recipes, it's not okay. It will, it will not turn out exactly like you want it because uh, German baking powder is single acting. So be careful what you do. Uh, we, we use the Rumford, it's aluminum free. It's my favorite baking powder. Then uh, to, the, to the whole wheat pastry flour, I had to add uh, almond flour, natural almond flour. That. As I said, uh, the, the, the amount is all underneath my, my uh, video and you can watch it. Uh, then uh, I added, that's the big secret, everybody, nobody knows that. Because uh, we don't need to use eggs or oil or anything. 
this is a vegan uh, pudding mix, vanilla pudding mix from Dr. Edgar. It's a German brand. I get it at Cost Plus and uh, at Dittmers, the, the German butcher in uh, Los Altos. Uh, if you don't find that one in your store, look at um, vegan pudding mixes, either one anyway, you know. And I poured that in the, just pour it in the, with the flour in, the, in your dry ingredients. Then we have, uh, we did the baking powder, did the flour, uh, then we have three cups of those unsweetened applesauce. It's our egg and oil replacer, three cups of those. And we have um, soy milk. So soy milk is in there. And then also two um, tablespoon cinnamon. And it smells really good. And this is all that's in the dough, I think. Yeah, that's all. So all I did is uh, mixing that together until you have a smooth dough. Then my cooking sheet, you'll notice I do not have my usual silicon mat in there. Well, I, I didn't want to grease it with oil, so what I did is I took half an avocado and moistened the baking sheet and then I uh, dusted it with flour so that it's non-stick. And this will do, I don't want to put a silicon baking sheet in that one because every time I do that, people cut the cake and cut my mat and I don't do I don't like that <laughs> so uh, we put the dough in the in the sheet just uh, spread it out try to get it all in Not wasting anything I'm really uh, looking forward to look how, how it tastes with the cherries because uh, so far I only used apples for that sunken cake and I will show you why it's called sunken cake. Okay. Spread it out in the, in the, sh in the um, cooking pan. Okay, Eddie will come later, my second cow potato cowgirl, she will join in once we do the soup. She is busy right now. You know, the girl is always busy. And she's with her papa right now. So. And uh, I need to check out some bike path. It's good that girl needs some exercise too, so that's fine with me. But she comes to join in later in our second part. So. You will see her. Okay. So now we have the dough in the cake pan. Mm. Mm. I told you all my flour, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Good. Oh, and I, I put a little bit of salt in it. In every dough, I put a little bit of pinch of salt in it. Don't forget that makes so much difference so what we do now is we, we continue with the apples i uh, quartered and peeled tart apples i use honey crisp you can use granny smith something tart not too flowery sweetie you know so it's some some tart apple and you you mix it with lemon or orange juice so that it is not getting brown do those after you do the dough so that it's not hanging out too much before we bake. Then you take a paring knife and uh, what you have to do when I come really close here, what you do is you see this here, now you see it. You fan your apple quarters. So you make little cuts, don't cut all the way through, just fan them, okay? And then they go in here so all the apple quarters can get fanned with a paring knife and then in the 
don't don't dump it too much in the dough a little bit a little bit pressure but not too much they go in but all by themselves once they are baked so i fan them again It's the best way is with a paring knife. That's the best way. And if you cut one through, just take another one. <laughs> okay. Like so. So we fan them all through. We make half of the sheet with those apples and half with the cherries. Because we have two presidents to celebrate. Yeah, that whole cake I want to try. Uh, that's a good whole plant-based uh, recipe, I think. And also, it's uh, amazing how much more um, vegetables and roots they ate than we do. If you ask today somebody, what is your favorite? I don't think anybody said uh, says string beans or mashed potatoes. Probably say steak or burger, you know. So it is, it changed, you know, we eat too much meat these days and um, it makes us sick, believe me. Okay, oh, uh, weight loss as of today, 55 pounds. Yeah, I think you see it. 55 pounds since January 26th, 2017 and no diabetes too anymore, it's in remission. And you like my new shirt? You eat what? <laughs> I like it. Okay. Um, we have the cherries here. And what I use are these unsweetened red tart cherries from Oregon. And they have it in two different... Uh, this one is in water and they have heavy syrup. Of course, I use the ones in water. So make sure you're not you know, using the ones with the, all the sugar in it. And then we just uh, sprinkle them on the, not too dense, you know, I would, that the dough can rise around them, not, not that, don't sprinkle them so dense that you can't see any dough anymore. But as I said, this is the first one I do this. I don't know how it turns out, but it um, can't be bad, it's cherry, so what the hell. cherry This is it, and we put that in the oven at 360 Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. And when it's done, we come back uh, for the second part, for the Chinese Lunar New Year of the dog uh, longevity noodle stir fry. See you then. Hello, we're back. So we take the apple uh, uh, cherry president sunken cake out of the oven and Eddie is doing the stick test. Um, 
if the stick comes out clean, the, the cake is ready. Here you go, it looks fantastic. If you want to look at it, so the, the apple and the cherry sunk into the dough. Now do the stick test. Comes out clean, so cake is ready. The only thing we have to do is, uh, you want to do it, you dust the cake a little bit with powdered sugar, but not too much, okay? You want to do that? Okay, just a little bit over the cherries and the cake and the apples. It's good. So we didn't do too much sugar, so you can leave that out, but it really looks great on the cake. So now we are at part two, which is our um, uh, Luna year of the dog uh, longevity noodle stir fry. And for that I use Thai rice noodles and I boil water. That's enough. Oh, a bit, little bit here. Yeah, that's fine. You know, it's a later a little bit more. That's enough. That's enough. I'm going to do dough too. Okay, let me let me show you the cake first before we go mm. to the next to the next part. Here is the cake. My president, President Washington, President Lincoln, German sunken cake. Happy birthday, President Lincoln and President Washington. <laughs> okay, let's put that over here and. Uh, so what I do next is uh, I boil water, a pot of water, you see it here, and the, the rice noodles have to go in for seven minutes. So long noodles is uh, luck for the coming year. Uh, we, we started the Luna year of the dog on Friday, last Friday. Next week we have to pick a Chinese uh, New Year's parade in San Francisco, which I always love. but. Uh, Let's do this now. Okay, I put the noodles in. They have to soak for seven minutes, so you don't have to keep boiling them. Once, once you put them in the boiling water, you turn the water off and let them soak for seven minutes. Maybe. Okay, maybe we should stir them apart a little. Yeah, that will work. Nice long noodles for good luck in the new Chinese year of the doggies. Okay, now we turn on our... If you have a wok, do it in the wok. I don't. Uh, I just take my uh, copper pan here and heat it up and uh, get going. So I have... Um, I water saute this... Uh, ultimate stir fry it's with water chestnuts baby popcorn red peppers mushrooms bamboo sprouts sugar snap peas it's kind of an asian uh, frozen mix i'll put that in and then i have um, one is the, the spring onion the cibolita that's uh, i cut it in rings and then i have a baby bok choy and these are the leaves, they go in last. I cut the, the white end, because they are a little tougher, in like, I chop them like onions, they will go right in. Uh, and the little leaves we'll, we'll put on later as a little garnish on the soup, uh, on the stir fry. And um, I have uh, julienne carrots. I have uh, zucchini zoodles, like I slice a mandolin them like noodles. Then I have uh, cilantro chopped. I have, um, the, as I said, uh, the cibolitas, the spring onions chopped, and the uh, bok choy. That's about it, what's on that plate. So it's wonderful colors. This goes in as soon as we have the frozen vegetables uh, thawed. And I put in a little bit of um, of vegetable broth, vegan vegetable broth, not all of it, just a little bit for a water saute. That has to go first. You want to stir a little? Really, but just slow. You don't have to slow, 
store a bag thick. So uh, the, the spices we need for this, uh, you know, you can always you use what you want, but it's, I put red chili pepper, soy sauce, and we actually, well, let's wait until the other vegetables and soy sauce we need, a little bit garlic powder, then I have the Chinese five spices, that is a must. I hope you can find it in your supermarkets, Chinese Five Spices from Dynasty, I have the one. And then we need uh, toasted sesame seeds, salt of course, um, on top, and uh, some starch, uh, I use potato starch, a teaspoon, um, later on. Um, then I use sprouts later for uh, at the very last after everything is done I put some sprouts on you know mung bean sprouts and uh, I also use um, a little bit of lemon juice and oh and basil I have chopped basil in here too okay how's it going still frozen yeah it's okay it's just uh, about it's thawing so I want to bring it to a boil. We can put that in, except of the, except of the leaves. Leaves the leaves out and the um, thing. Store everything in. And mix it all together. You want to mix it. And all nice. It has all go soft and. Get stir fried, and in the meantime, I think I'm gonna cut. I never had a, a cherry cake, so it looks really good. I always made them with apples, but uh, I wanna try and cut one out to show you. Maybe I get both sides. sunk in the dough and it's a whole wheat pastry dough mm, with the put, pudding um, mixture I showed you the vegan mixture it gets really soft and gooey and nice if you don't find that mixture make it without it's possible it's not um, it just doesn't get as gooey and soft isn't that pretty I think my presidents will appreciate my effort the cherry is sunk in too, it looks really good. So, a dollop of soy vanilla bean ice cream, and I'm ready for my afternoon snack. Is this good? Or is it soft? soft? Let me see. So, as it is the year of the dog, you want to introduce our, our people to the dogs. She wanted to do that, so we have not much to cook right now. So. Uh, we want to introduce it to our three amigos. They are part of our family. And um, Eddie will ask for that, so it's okay with me. So that means the noodles are done. Here's so one. Try the noodles. Okay, here's Thing number one. one. Go from the, not on the food, Eddie. Okay, this is Scruffy. Go a little here, at least. I go, I go here that is that I see the. This is Scruffy. It's not the smartest one of the bunch, but he has the cube factor, and that goes a long way. So you will 
be amazed how long the cute factor goes. He is spoiled. Okay, number one. It's a Shih Tzu poodle. So um, his hair is, is uh, like a poodle's hair. It's all rescue dogs, by the way. So none of my one. Uh, actually, Max is a, is a purebred, but the, his his tail was broken, so the breeder didn't want him. So I got him. No food. <laughs> uh, this is Max, our oldest dog, and uh, he is pre uh, it's Maxwell of Bavaria, purebred mini dachshund. Maxi. He's uh, an eating machine. He eats everything. When he was young, I mean, he's. Uh, how old is he now? 13, 14 years? 16. 16? Oh my god. He's really in good shape. He's not fat or anything. He's in good shape for a mini dachshund. And uh, I think he's 15 years old. And he, I got him when Eddie's mom was her age. So that's how old he is. And this is Taco. Thing three. This is our rat terrier. He's the smartest one of the bunch. But um, He's really smart. He outsmarts everybody when he wants to get something or or get out of the garden, you know. Yeah, and you hear him growl too. So now you he see we have three dogs, so we should be lucky in the year of the dog, I hope. And in the meantime, my my uh, vegetable is uh, sautéing very nicely. We get the noodles out, I don't want them to get too soft. Yes. See how nice they are? How it's kind of warmy jelly style noodle, I would call them. Uh, let me get a colander and get the noodles out. Think, think. Yeah, get Maxi way, we are cooking here. Yeah. Everybody, has returned. everybody had their famous <laughs> one minute. Thing two has returned. Japanese rice noodles. <coughs> oh, stir fry is stir frying. Okay, we go um, with the with the um, stuff now. Um, We have to get a tablespoon soy sauce. This is my here. Yeah. Okay, we're getting a tablespoon soy sauce. We put one in later when it's stir fry, but one we put in right away. Okay, look how nice that looks. Beautiful, beautiful vegetable. Look at that. So we, I'm not gonna stir fry it down to nothing. I don't like vegetable being too uh, too soft. I like, and that's actually how the Asians do their vegetables. They're nice and crunchy when you eat, get vegetables from them. So uh, we put uh, about half a teaspoon, a uh, half a tablespoon garlic in it. You can also put a clove of garlic in it. I ran out of garlic so I'm sorry. So I put garlic powder in it. And then uh, uh, the tapioca starch. Uh, tapioca or potato starch. I have potato. This is one teaspoon. Right. 
and um, then the Chinese. This is a half a teaspoon, I would say. Okay, we are back. So uh, the noodles, we put the noodles in our stir fry, put another tablespoon of soy sauce in it. And I'm not going to dish it for you. So we take that out. Put some, some leaves on it. That's how I like it. Some sprouts on top. Maybe another leaf and a, a little. <coughs> and here we go. Gang Hoi Fat Choi Happy Lunar Chinese Year of the Dog. Doesn't this look great? So all the, the vegetables are in the stir fry, the noodles. Yeah, and uh, enjoy your President's Weekend, enjoy your Chinese Lunar New Year uh, first weekend and we will see you again next weekend for another Tater Cowgirl Rodeo. Bye and as we say in California, peace, peace out. out! Pow!